Hello, this is Josh Johnson with PSD Tuts, and I'm continuing my discussion of Photoshop 13.1. The next new feature that we're going to look at is one that I'm pretty excited about. The ability to convert Photoshop layer styles to CSS. Web developers are constantly tasked with converting Photoshop artwork to live CSS3 powered designs. Depending on the complexity of the object, this can take some serious time. Wouldn't it be nice if Photoshop could just do the conversion for you? Good news, now it can. Let's see how it works. To begin, let's try converting a basic button in Photoshop. As you can see, I started with a simple rectangle with rounded corners. Then I added on some layer styles. First, I used a gradient overlay. Next, I used an inner shadow set to overlay to put a nice highlight across the top. Finally, I created a subtle drop shadow. Now that we have a decent idea of how the button is built in Photoshop, let's convert it to CSS. There are two ways to go about this. The first is to select the layer and then go to Layer, Copy CSS in the menu bar. The other way is to right click on the layer and select the Copy CSS option from the menu that appears. This will copy the CSS code to our clipboard so we can insert it into our favorite code editor. Before we go check that out, notice that I've named my layer button in all lowercase. This is important because it will be converted to a class name in our final code. Now if we jump over to CodePen, we can try out our button to see if it worked. First, I'll create a div in my HTML and give it a class of button. Now, I'll jump over to the CSS and simply paste in the code that Photoshop placed into my clipboard. As you can see, a pretty big chunk of code has been written for us. I'll strip out the positioning values so we can see what's going on. It looks like the shape and color are spot on with our Photoshop version, but not everything was copied successfully. For starters, the drop shadow is at full opacity despite the reduced opacity in our Photoshop version. I would have expected Photoshop to use RGBA to pull off this effect. In addition to the drop shadow problems, our inner shadow was simply ignored, so there's no highlight across the top. All in all though, we're off to a strong start. Photoshop saved us quite a bit of coding and even went the extra mile to include some browser prefixes to ensure maximum compatibility. Just for the sake of argument, let's compare Photoshop's new built-in copy CSS feature to a free Photoshop plugin called CSS3PS, which essentially promises the same functionality. Once again, I'll select my layer, only this time I'll hit the CSS3 PS plugin. This launches a web page where I have to wait a whopping 20 seconds to see my results. This is admittedly super annoying, but once the results do pop up, they're actually better than the built-in Photoshop feature. As you can see, both the top highlight and the reduced opacity box shadow are present in this version. To take things even further, you can get your results in SAS, an awesome option that I'd like to see from Photoshop in the future.